Like everybody was so smart and hardworking and we were aiming for HD and we actually got a PA. <laughs> Uh, hi everyone, my name is Hai Tao. I just finished my studies at RMIT as a prof student with a GPA of 3.7. How did you get that 3.7 GPA? One is do a lot of consultations. So I usually do it twice before submitting an assignment. The first one is for the basic draft and research, just so I can get the lecturer's expectations. The second time is when I'm like 70-80% done with the assignment, so I can ask really specific questions and get detailed feedback. Uh, the second one is learn from your peers. I was very lucky to study with some of the most creative, intellectual, and I did take notice of what they say, what they ask the lecturer, how they approach a problem or how they present, and they motivate me to work harder. And the third one is allocate your time. Maybe I'm not the best person to give you this advice. I'm kind of like a master procrastinator. But it's really important for you to know your ability and the amount of time it takes for you to do an assignment and get that desired score. And do you even have time to write? Well, I mean, I'm still a university student, I, so I do. I think a lot of people were surprised to know that I went out a lot. I was really lucky to join the buddy team for like one year and a half, and I got to hang out with international students and the buddy member. So we went to dinners, we went to house parties, we went clubbing. Not a lot, but like an appropriate amount of time. Appropriate amount of time? <laughs> Your university life sounds so perfect, doesn't it? It's a lot of stress, self-doubt, rejections, and yeah, also bad grades. There's this one time in my fifth semester, we had this really great team and we were aiming for HD. And we actually got a PA. And it turns out because we didn't do proper citations. Kids, please do not skip citation. Citation saves lives, remember that. A person with good GPA can also have an N or PA, but it's really important that you fight back from it. Does GPA matter? Well, I think it would depend on you and your goal and how GPA plays a role in that goal. But the most important thing is to have an enjoyable and well-rounded university life. Well, at least to me. So besides studying, I also was a buddy. I got to meet a lot of people from around the world. I was a SAS tutor. I got to help nope. newbies out with their assignments. I did emceeing for a couple of RMIT events where I didn't realize that I could stood in front of a stage and talk to people. And I also took part in some competitions and I got a bronze. For me, my personal goal was free education, so that's why I want a high GPA. Like this one? You're talking I don't know, about like this one? one is like an old one, like so many years ago. It's just. I want a new one. <laughs> I want a new one. <laughs> it's so close to graduation right now. Are you scared? Honestly, yeah, a little bit. RMIT was always such a safe place for me. Last semester, I did my internship. Going from kind of like a know-it-all in university to newbie in the workplace. Because there's so much to learn again. Um, but luckily, there's this uh, workshop from Job Shop about persistence in workplace. And it really gave me more motivation and a clear direction into my future. All right, so what's next? So I would love to keep doing my job, but hopefully getting better and better at it. I want to do something meaningful with my life, hopefully a personal project. Then I want to yeah, nail some work scholarship in the future. Do you have any advice for our fellow RMIT students? I know it sounds a bit cliche, but don't just study all the time. Try to engage yourself in activities, and over that, you can learn more about yourself. Don't worry too much. Everybody is struggling, just like you. So, good luck, everyone. Freestyle long, yo.